the Bully Ranch was just a vision that turned into a reality. I would like to say we're like a tight knit family unit. Um, we're not just any dog breeders. We love, we enjoy what we do. Uh, I think that's what se sort of separates us from the rest. One well, my first two dogs five years ago, and they were just as pets. I met the breeder and um, I ended up leaving with two dogs in the end because I didn't really want to leave the other dog behind. I wasn't liking what I was seeing. Um, I smile when I say that, but it's, it's what gave me the drive to do the bully ranch because I just knew I could do it better. That's what I see, what I was seeing. I just thought I could do this 20 times better with ease. You know, so that's um, that's sort of where it stemmed from. When I was younger, my, my dad always had animals around him. Um, my nan and granddad had their ass, they had goats, they had chickens, they used to raise pigeons, uh, we've always had dogs. So we've always been animal lovers, we've always had a thing for animals. So working with dogs um, just comes naturally to us really and it's, we like being around them. The most rewarding, this is selfish of me to say, but it's like creating something, bringing, making life and creating it and it turns out how exactly how you wanted it. That's the most rewarding part, that's my selfish part. The hardest part is death. Um, it's something that I haven't learned to adjust to, I don't think I ever will. Sometimes I've lost a puppy, it's like eight, eight days, 10 days, 12 days old. Um, but that's definitely one of the hardest things. Um, it's not a regular occurrence, but when it does happen, it's really, really emotional. But um, the way I look at it, it in a positive is that I'm bringing, I'm also bringing life as well. I like handing puppies over to, to children and to, and to families and to new couple, and couples, you know, like just bought their new house and, and just know that's my job done. That like I've, I've bred the dog. Um, it's healthy dog and it's going to a lovely home and I'm making people happy, you know, so it's, that's, that's, the, that's the pros of my job. One of the other hardest parts is whelping a litter. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. With an English Bulldog, like, they have to be fed every two hours for four weeks, minimum. So, like, that's, that's, a hard, that's hard. There's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a skill there as well. A lot of people go, oh, these uh, certain breeders are just in it for the quick buck and stuff like that. That might be the case. But if people come behind the scenes, which we want to do now, and show the work that does go on, it's not just bad people just selling dogs for money, you know? So that's why we're going to start our program showing people uh, the behind the scenes, the hard work that goes in, the, the whelping with the puppies, the emotion, you know? Like, that, that, I think that will change people's views. The dogs get let out in the morning, they all get fed. The whole place gets blitzed, it gets cleaned, and then we take individual dogs out for walks. Some of them we can take together, but some of them we can't because they just don't get along. Sim simple as that, there's beefs going on, you know? So, but yeah, and it's very important that this, this is part of our job. It's not just breeding dogs, selling them. Like, part of the job is taking care of the animal, you know? And I, and I find great pleasure in taking care of them. This does not stop, there's no shutting off. Five years, I'm not sure. This isn't your average nine to five. But if you enjoy it, you have fun, that's it, isn't it? So it's really important how these puppies start off in life. Uh, we don't have no swearing, as much as we all swear, we try not to swear inside the Bully Ranch um, and let off any bad energy, because we don't want our puppies taking that sort of uh, energy in. We have a swear jar, so if anyone swears in the puppy area, they got to put a pound in. Yeah, that's why John's skin. <laughs> Come here, Dad. You cool? Yeah. Get in the hot seat, bro. Get in the hot seat. Right. <laughs> what does the Bully Ranch mean to you? Bully Ranch to me means trust, it means health, and it means living, really. Getting a living for loving what you do, basically. When I was working in the building industry for 30 years, I had people barking orders at me every day, but I'd like to have dogs barking at me, at least you know you're getting something back. <laughs> you can't help but get attached to the dogs that you love, that you, you, you have on the bully ranch, you can't. There's no way of describing it really, yeah, it's just become a part of you. We know they're going to good homes, that's a, that's a good thing. That's a, that's a really good plus. And, it, and, the, and the bonus is people enjoy the dogs they're getting. The love and the, and the affection they're getting off the animals that they buy of us is a good thing. Yeah, I appreciate it. The people take an interest in our in our the way we do things. Come on, gear up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be an aspirin coming over in a minute.
we have a very strict vetting policy here. We like to know where our dogs are going, who they're going with, and how they are, how they're going to be treated. So, purchasing a dog from us, you're coming here, you're like, you're joining a family. Yeah, you're you're having an experience. It's not just purchasing a puppy. We will help anyone to the best of our ability. Like well, like I said, when you buy a dog from us, you're part of our family. I don't like to just see myself just as a dog breeder. Um, so like we do a lot of social media, do a lot of videos, we, we make a lot of content just for, for the people. And we let them see what we are doing and how we are doing it, how we operate, you know? So like our doors are open, that's what I like. I like people to see the love here. That's the most important. When the people see the love, they understand. And, and yeah, and obviously we, that's where we get a lot of feedback when they see us. We like to treat it, we, when we do videos, we like to use them as educational as well because there's a lot of stigma and criticism around the bulldog's health and stuff like that and i like to educate people because they're not always right it's not every bulldog is unhealthy everyone's got the right to their opinion i mean no you're not going to be able to please everyone in life and that's just how i look at it as long as i'm doing my job to the best of my ability the best that i can then that's it for me.